Hey YouTubers, Farmboy Reef here. So on today's episode, I'm going to talk about what I use on my tank to clean my glass surface. Um, there's a lot of different chemicals out there that can definitely harm your tank that you do not want to use. Um, there's a lot of cleaners at your local fish store that can cost, you know, up to, you know, eight, ten dollars for a little bottle. That's great and all, but, you know, in this hobby you want to save money. So I'm going to show you what I do and what I use for my tank surface. So, you know, you got your typical Windex. The problem with Windex is there's ammonia in it. Ammonia, fish, and corals do not like. And what happens with ammonia and fish? They die, right? Ammonia is a definitely no-no. So I do not ever use any kind of chemical on my fish tank at all. So let's put that away and not talk about that one anymore. So the cheap and easiest way that I do this way to save myself a lot of money, um, what I do is you're gonna need is vinegar. I got this at like Walmart for a dollar when it was on sale. So, uh, you know, this is, is a four liter jug for like a dollar at Walmart. This is a great product. It's safe. If you ever get, uh, if you ever put vinegar in your tank, it won't hurt it. Um, your tank will actually uh, neutralize the acid in it and it won't harm your tank at all. So this is a great product to use to clean your glass. So I'm gonna show you uh, my mix, what I like to do guys. So you got your, you got your, uh, your pure white vinegar, so you're gonna need that. So I'm just gonna set that aside. I have it measured out here. So I got my I got my measuring cup. I end up I got half half a cup of white vinegar, pure white vinegar. So you're gonna need that. The other thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need RO water or distilled water. You're gonna need another half cup of that. And you're gonna need a spray bottle. You can get at any box store, Walmart, dollar store. I think this was a dollar store for like a dollar. So it's it's cheap, it's easy to go. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open up the bottle. We're gonna set this to the side. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your half cup of vinegar and put it in your spray bottle. So we're just gonna put that in. So there we go, so we got one cup of half of pure white vinegar. And then we got our RO water or distilled water. So we're just gonna measure out half a cup of that as well. There we go. Put that in our spray bottle as well. There we go. So we got like almost like a 50-50 uh, mix going on here. We'll mix that up. So you mix that up. So there you go. So there you go for like a dollar and we're making our own water so it's even cheaper. So for like a dollar you got cleaner that you can, you know, that whole bottle will probably last you over a year or more. So we got that all mixed up really well. Cause that's the one thing with vinegar, if a little bit of spray, cause a lot of people have open tops now. So you're spraying your glass, you know, you're getting it in the tank, but you know, uh, vinegar it'll just naturally uh, break down and break down the acid and it won't harm your tank at all so that's a great you know a great product to use and this is what I use all the time and the best thing about this you know you can label it um, you know your fish cleaner and it's safe for your kids you have small kids and you have this under your cabinet you know they won't get poisoned or anything and the other thing that's great for this you know like on the open tops you have like you know salt stains and stuff like that you can spray a little bit on there, you know what I mean? And clean that off and it's really nice and clean. So yeah, you just spray it on your tank, guys. Just like that. So I got my, you know, I got my 20 gallon there. I'm getting a little bit of overspray. It's going in the tank, you know, it's not hurting anything. So you just spray that on. You know, just grab some paper towel and just start cleaning her down. The best, the best thing too, like this, you, you know, you get you get salt stains and stuff on your uh, on your cabinetry. You can use it on there as well. Keeps it all nice and clean. And this way, I know this way, I know I'm not damaging my tank and I'm not hurting all my marine fish that are in my tank. You know what I mean? You got a lot of money invested in there. You don't want to get any chemicals. So by just using the you know the white vinegar technique half and half, you know, half a cup of white vinegar, half a cup of uh, distilled water or RO water, you're good to go. So yeah, it just clean it right up there. Definitely do not use the Windex on your glass. You don't want to get the ammonia in your tank. But I noticed when you're doing other like windows and stuff, you get that film on there, it's not good. So look at that, it's all nice and shiny and we're good to go. So I just wanted to express that to you guys. Keep that Windex away from your tanks. Use the natural way. I'm telling you, if you go to your, you know, your local fish store, probably 100% of the time with what's in that container is half water and half vinegar. So why are you paying double the amount when you can make your own, guys? 
So I hope you guys liked this episode. I hope you learned a little something here. Um, you know, please subscribe and hit the like button. You never know what other video is coming up, guys. So have yourself a great night. Thanks, guys. Bye.